Summary of Hills Like White Elephants by Ernest Hemingway In the beginning of the story, the American man and the girl are sitting outside a bar at a train stop in Spain near the River Ebro. As they wait for their train to Madrid, they sit and drink beer and booze in the hot, bright sun. A Spanish waiter comes in and out of the bar through a beaded curtain carrying beer and anise for the two men. The guy and girl have been traveling together as a couple, but they are fighting right now. As they sit and drink, it becomes clear that the girl is pregnant and that the man wants her to have an abortion, even though neither of them says that outright. The man says that if she has an abortion, their relationship will go back to how it was before. As the two try to avoid talking about the problem, the girl makes comments about the empty but beautiful hills around them and the alcohol they are drinking. The girl begs the man to stop talking about the abortion, but he keeps talking about it. The man says he needs to move his bags to the other side of the station. During this time apart, he looks with comfort at the other travelers who are patiently waiting for the train. This suggests that he is annoyed and angry with the girl for not doing what he asked. When he returns to their seat at the pub and asks whether she is feeling better, she says that she is great and that there is nothing wrong with her. About the author Ernest Hemingway was born in Illinois. He grew up in a neighborhood of Chicago and spent his summers with his family in a small town in Michigan. After high school, he got a job working for the Kansas City Star, but he left after only six months to join the Red Cross Ambulance Corps during World War I, where he was hurt and given the Silver Medal of Military Valor. After that, he moved to Ontario and Chicago, where he met Hadley Richardson, his first wife. In 1921, he and his wife moved to Paris, where he met F. Scott Fitzgerald and other lost-generation American writers living abroad. After his first book, The Sun Also Rises, came out in 1926, he got a divorce from Hadley and married Pauline Pfeiffer, who was from Arkansas. The couple went to Florida, where Hemingway wrote A Farewell to Arms in 1929, which became a bestseller. He then went to Spain to cover the Spanish Civil War as a war reporter. This job helped him come up with the idea for his famous 1939 book, For Whom the Bell Tolls. After it came out, he met Martha Gellhorn, who would become his third wife. In 1946, Hemingway married his fourth and last wife, Mary Hemingway. The two of them lived in Cuba for the next 14 years. After moving to Ketchum, Idaho, for the last time, Hemingway killed himself in 1961, just like his father had done in 1928. Hemingway left his wife and three kids behind when he died. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.